We are in the process of learning about pointers in C. In this lecture, we are going to learn about certain valid pointer arithmetic that can be applied on a given pointer variable. So let's get started. So to demonstrate the same, first of all, I've taken this example wherein I first of all declared a variable character variable CH, which is holding the value character X. Let's say CH is occupying the memory 9011. It occupies just one byte. So it is occupying the memory starting address 9011. So inside 9011 address, the value X is stored. Okay. Similarly, I create one integer variable A which is having the value 2022 stored in it and A is occupying 4 bytes of memory starting from the address 9012 up to 9015. 4 bytes, 9012, 9013, 9014 and 9015. 4 bytes are reserved for A. Inside A, 2022 is stored. Similarly, I create one integer variable B which is again occupying 4 bytes. I am assuming that integer takes 4 bytes and these 4 bytes are 9016, 9017, 9018 and 9019. Inside this the value 65 is stored and the starting address is 9016. Similarly I create one more integer variable C inside which the value 729 is stored and C is having 4 bytes in the memory. It's starting from the address 9020 up to 9023. Here is starting address is 9020. Now what I do is I'd like to store the address of the character CH in a pointer variable. So I need to create a pointer to a character. So I write char star pch. So this is a pointer to a character. In this I'm going to store the address of the character. So I'll write equals to ampersand ch. So it's going to store the address of the character. Address of the character ch is 9011. So 9011 would be stored in the variable pch. Now I say pch points to the character ch. Now pch becomes the pointer to a character which character it is pointing to the character ch so it is having the content the content of this variable is the address of the variable ch so it is holding the value 9011 which is the address of the character variable ch similarly i create one more pointer variable pa that is the pointer to the integer so i write int star pa it will create a pointer to the integer it is going to hold the address of a so it will write equals to ampersand a so address of a is nothing but you just look at the starting address the starting address is 9012 so 9012 the address would be stored in the pointer variable pa so the content of pa is 9012 which is nothing but address of a now i say pa points to a. Similarly, I make pb point to b by writing int star pb equals to m person b. So it will create a pointer variable pb inside which I am storing the address of b which is 9016. Now I say pb points to b. Similarly, I create one more pointer variable pc, right? And pc is having the address of the integer variable c. Okay, so integer variable C is having the starting address 9020. 9020 is now stored in the variable PC, right? Because I have written int star PC equals to ampersand C. So 9020 is the content of PC, which is nothing but the address of C. So I say PC points to C. Now, once all these variables are created, let's try to see what is the output of the following printf statement. So the first printf statement here is I'm trying to print PA. Now, what is PA? PA is nothing but the name of the variable. So whenever I say name of the variable, you have to go into that variable and see what is the content of that variable. So PA is having the content 9012, which is nothing but the address of A. So PA is nothing but 9012, so it is going to display the address 9012. So PA is going to display the address 9012. Now let's look at this next printf statement wherein I'm trying to print PA plus zero. I know PA is nothing but the pointer variable whose value is 9012, right? The content is 9012. So if I add 0 to 9012, I'm actually not making any changes to PA. So it is as good as PA. PA plus 0 is as good as PA. PA is nothing but 9012. So it is going to display 9012 in the output. Now let's look at another printf statement. I'm trying to do PA plus 1. I'm trying to print PA plus 1. Is it a valid statement? Yes, it is a valid statement. I am allowed to add an integer to a pointer. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to add one to pointer PA. So what is PA? PA is 9012. So now you may think that 9012 plus one should give you 9013. It is not this simple. The answer is not 9013. So whenever I say 9012 plus one, I do not mean that add one to 9012. So 9013 is not the answer. Whenever I write 9012 plus 1, what do I mean is that 
I am trying to see what is the address of the next memory block. Now PA is 9012 that is for sure. Now PA is holding the address of A. Now A is going to occupy 4 bytes. So 9012, 9013, 9014 and 9015 is already reserved for A. So the valid, the next address, the next memory location is the memory location after 9015 that is 9016. So whenever I do PA plus 1, I should not get 9013, but I should be actually getting 9016. Now how do I do this calculation? How this arithmetic is done is very simple. What I do is I just write 9012 as it is. And instead of writing 1, I just multiply this 1 with the size of integer. Because PA is a pointer, pointer to an integer, so it is holding the address of integer. Integer occupies 4 bytes, so I'll write 1 times size of integer, size of int size of integer in my machine is 4 bytes so i write this is 9012 plus this is nothing but 9012 plus 1 time 4 1 time 4 is 4 so this is 9012 plus 4 which is nothing but 9016 so whenever i write pa plus 1 it is going to get the address 9016 so pa plus 1 is 9016 now let us try to predict the output of the next statement wherein I am trying to do PB minus 2. I am trying to subtract 2 from the pointer PB. Is it allowed? Can I subtract an integer from a pointer? That's a valid statement. You can subtract an integer from a pointer. So PB minus 2 is, PB is nothing but 9016. So it is not 9016 minus 2 that is 9014. 9014 is not the correct answer. Now 9016 minus 2 is nothing but 9016 minus 2 times 4. Now why do I multiply with 4 because 4 is nothing but it is the size of integer, size of int is 4 bytes. So I'll write 9016 minus 2 into 4 that is 9016 minus 8 that is 9016 minus 8 which is 9008. So 9008 is the address PB minus 2. So PB minus 2 is 9008. Eight. So this is PB minus 2. Okay. So the answer here is 9008. Okay. So whenever you are actually adding an integer or subtracting an integer from a pointer, you'll have to see what that pointer is pointing to and then multiply that by that factor. In this case, it was pointing to an integer. Right? So I don't just do 9016 minus 2 is 9014 because 9014 is not the correct answer. I'll have to multiply 4 with 2 because 4 is the size of integer. So it becomes 9016 minus 8 which is 9008. Okay? Therefore PB minus 2 is 9008. Now in the next printf statement I'm trying to print PCH plus 1. What is PCH? PCH is a pointer to a character. So the address here is PCH is having the address of CH which is 9011. So this is as good as 9011 plus 1. Okay. Here I'll have to multiply 1 with the size of character. So I'll just write 1 times size of char. Here I'm multiplying by size of char because PCH is having the address of a character. Now size of character we know that it is 1 byte. So it is nothing but 9011 plus 1 time 1 which is nothing but 1. So it is 9012. Okay, so PCH plus 1 is 9012. Now similarly, let's look at the last printf statement wherein I'm trying to do PCH minus 2. Again, you apply the same logic. PCH is nothing but 9011. Okay, minus 2 times 1. Times 1 because 1 is the size of character. The size of character is 1 byte. So I just write multiply by 1. Okay, so this is 9011 minus 2 which is 9009. 9009 is the output that is PCH minus 2 is 9009. Okay, this is how you perform the pointer arithmetic. So what we have seen as of now is we can add an integer to a pointer that is a valid operation adding integer to a pointer. So pointer plus integer is a valid statement. Similarly, you can subtract an integer from a pointer. So pointer minus integer is a valid expression. Now you may be wondering whether you can multiply an integer to a pointer or whether you can divide an integer from a pointer. Now that's not a valid operation. Now you cannot perform the multiplication of a pointer with an integer. That's not allowed. You cannot divide an integer from a pointer. That's not allowed. You cannot do pointer mode integer. That is also not allowed. These are invalid operations because these operations does not make any sense. 
okay so therefore these operations are restricted and you will not be able to perform multiplication of integer with a pointer division of integer with a pointer and finding the modulo of a pointer divided by integer that's not allowed similarly you cannot add two pointers adding two pointers is not allowed similarly you cannot multiply two pointers and you cannot divide two pointers but what is allowed is you can actually subtract two pointers together so pointer minus pointer is a valid statement provided both of these pointer are of same type now this pointer should be of same type that means they should be pointing to a same type of a variable if the first pointer is pointing to an integer second also must point to an integer if first pointer is pointing to float second one also must point to the float if first one is pointing to character and second one is pointing to an integer that is not allowed whenever you are subtracting two pointers you need to make sure that these two pointers are actually pointing to the same type of a variable okay only then the subtraction is possible now let's look at this example of pointer minus pointer the same example i'm trying to print pa minus pch pa minus pch if you look at this pa is what pa is pointer to an integer it's a pointer to an integer so it's an integer pointer int star what is pch the, what is the type of PCS? The type of PCS is the character pointer. It is pointing to a character. Now, subtracting the character pointer from an integer pointer is not allowed because both of them are of different types. So whenever the pointers are of different types, the subtraction is not allowed. So this statement, the first printf statement will give you an error. You cannot do PA minus PCS. So now let's try to see what is the output of PB minus PA. PB minus PA. Before you perform the subtraction, you need to check what is the type of PB and what is the type of PA. PB is a pointer to an integer. Similarly, PA is a pointer to an integer. So subtraction is allowed. So you can subtract. What is PB? PB is nothing but 9016, which is the address of B. What is PA? PA is 9012, which is the address of A. 9016 minus 9012 is 4, but 4 is not the correct output. Whenever you are subtracting two pointers, you have to first of all find the difference that is four and then divide by the size of the variable that it is pointing to. You have to divide by size of int. Here the size of int is what? Size of integer is four bytes. So it will be four divided by four. So the answer is one. Now you may be wondering what is the significance of this value one. Now one indicates the distance between the variable B and variable A because variable B and variable A are consecutive to each other so the distance we say is 1 because address of b is 9016 and address of a is 9012 so these addresses are one after another because after the address of a we get the address of b so we say the difference here is 1 so therefore you get 1 as the output now let's try to see what is the output of pc minus pa pc minus pa is it okay to subtract pc minus pa it is okay both of them are pointing to an integer variable so pc is nothing but 9020 and pa is nothing but 9012 so pc minus pa is difference is 8 but you have to again divide this by size of integer because both of these variables are pointing to integer so pc minus pa is 8 divided by size of int which is 4 so 8 divided by 4 is 2 so pc minus pa the output is 2 so 2 is displayed so if you see pc pc is nothing but the address of c and pa is nothing but the address of a so to reach to a you have to first of all skip here one okay skip here again to reach to a so one plus one is two so we say the variable c is two memory block apart from the variable a therefore you get the difference as two now similarly let's do the final one pa minus pc let's do the other way around pa minus pc is nothing but 9012 minus 9020 okay this is minus 8 divided by size of int 4 size of int is 4 bytes so this is minus 2 so if you write pa minus pc you get the output as minus okay this is how it works now this arithmetic does not make sense here because we are now working with variables but subtracting a pointer from another pointer will make sense whenever you are dealing with an array now let's take this example of an array let's say a is an integer array having 11 elements as shown here now a is occupying the space in the memory as shown here a is having the starting address 1000 at 1000 the value 23 is stored 
So next element is going to have the address 1004 because 1000, 1001 and 1002 and 1003. These four bytes are reserved for the first element at index 0 that is for the value 23. So the next element that is 45 will be stored at the address 1004. 5, 6 and 7. So that's how the addresses are allocated here. And the last element, the element at index 10 is having the address as 1040. So first of all, let's say there's a pointer cube which is having the address of the first element. So address of the first element is nothing but m% a0. m% a0 here is 1000. So 1000 is stored in Q. So I say Q points to the first element a0. Similarly, P pointed to an integer. P is holding the address of the element at index 4 so p equals to m percent a4 m percent a4 is 1016 so 1016 is stored in p so now i say that p points to the element at index 4 that is it points to element a4 right so p is having the address 1016 now let's try to print what is q plus 1 the first print of statement q plus 1 now q is nothing but 1000 right what is 1000 plus 1 1000 plus 1 means it is going to find the address of the next element in the array because in the array elements are arranged in the consecutive manner. So 1000 plus 1 is nothing but 1000 plus 1 times size of int. Size of integer is 4 bytes. Integer is 4 bytes. Let's assume that integer is 4 bytes. So 1000 plus 4 is 1004. So Q plus 1 is 1004. So you see this is nothing but Q plus 1. So now Whenever I add an integer to a pointer that is having the address of an array, I'll get the address of the next element in the array. So Q plus 1 is the next element in the array because Q was having the address of A0. Q plus 1 is the address of A1. Address of A1 is 1004. So Q plus 1 is 1004. Similarly, let's try to see the next printf statement wherein I'm trying to do P minus 2. Now what is P? P is nothing but having the address of A4 that is 1016. P minus 2 is actually 2 times size of int which is 4 bytes. So this is nothing but the size of int. Okay. So this is 1016 minus 8. This is 1008. So P is this one. So this is P minus 2. So P minus 1 is 1012. This is P minus 1. P minus 2 is 1008. So this is nothing but P minus 2, right? So whenever you do P minus 2, you are actually coming to the left of an array by skipping two elements. So you go and get the address of the element at index 2. So address of element at index 2 is 1008. So P minus 2 is 1008. So now let's try to perform P minus Q. What if I subtract two pointers? P is having the address of element at index 4. So P is 1016 and minus Q is Q is 1000, right? So 1016 minus 1000 is 16, right? But I have to divide by 4 because 4 is the size of integer. 16 by 4 is 4. So P minus Q is 4 because from P you have to skip 4 blocks to reach to Q, okay? So block 1, block 2, block 3 and block 4. So now you reach to Q from P by skipping four blocks. So P minus Q is four block. P is nothing but the address of the element at index four. So here, whenever I say P, I'm talking about index four, I equals to four, let's say. Whenever I talk about Q, Q is having the address of the first element. So I'm talking about the index zero. So another index, index for Q is zero. So if I subtract these indexes four minus zero, I still get the value also as four, which is the answer. So P minus Q, the answer is 4. Now, what is Q minus P? Now, Q minus P is nothing but 1000, 0, 0, 0, 1000 minus 1016. 1000 minus 1016 is minus 16. I have to divide this by 4, which is the size of integer. So, this is minus 4. So, P minus Q is 4 and Q minus P is minus 4. So, this pointer arithmetic, that is adding an integer to a pointer, subtracting an integer from a pointer and subtracting two pointers makes sense whenever you are dealing with an array. So these are the only three valid operations that you can perform with a pointer, pointer plus integer, pointer minus integer and pointer minus pointer. If you do any other operators with the pointer variable, you'll be getting an error. So that's all for this lecture. In this lecture, we have learned all the valid pointer arithmetic operators and we have seen what works and what does not work and how it really 
works and finally we have also touched upon how pointer can be created for an array and how these arithmetic operators that is pointer plus integer pointer minus integer and pointer minus pointer makes sense in an array now in our next lecture we are going to learn in more details about the pointer and an array until then stay tuned